welcome back, guys. This is part two of our dipping, not pouring. And today we had to wait a little bit longer than 3 p.m. because some of the pieces are still drying. I was hoping that all of them would be dry by now, but many of them have dried. So we're not thrilled with all of them. We did create some that turned out well, and we'll share what transpired from yesterday to today once the piece is dried, and we'll correct a couple of them. So let's dive right in. Let's do it. Okay, guys, so here's what, how the pieces turned out. We're going to kind of bring them close so you guys could see. This, let's do one more time, okay? This is this one, and you could share them with your audience as well. Um, yeah. I know we're on a few different channels here, so bear with us. Um, so that one, I like, I'm not super happy with. This one has a lot of potential, and this is brighter light than I hoped. Here, let me put it back a little bit. So this, this one turned out interesting, and I think we could turn it into a really cool um, jellyfish. So we're going to attempt that today. And then the other one that I think turned out really nicely is this one is still drying a little bit and perhaps harder to see with the bright light. Um, let me see if I could bring it closer to the camera here. Yeah. Um, probably works out better there. And Admi's pieces, a couple of Admi's pieces that she did yesterday um this was do you want to show yours yes so we had this one which has awesome cells but crackled on the side so you guys could see it kind of crackled but it has really nice cell formation over there on the other side you guys could kind of see it from different angles yeah you can show it to your audience and this one, again, I think the lights here are preventing me from showing it up close so you guys can see like a super up close view of some of the cells. It is quite beautiful and from a side angle, like it looks really, really pretty. The cells look really pretty. I'm not sure that we're going to add a whole lot to this piece. I, I think it kind of speaks on its own for itself. And then we had two others that also turned out fairly well. Like we're really happy with this one. Um, this one had a nice cell formation in it. And it looks like the vibrant colors. They, they just look so, so pretty. We are really, really happy with that. So here's here's this one, guys. Right? You as well. And this is the last one. Um, all right, so today we're going to work on this piece here. And I'm going to work on that. And I'm going to work on this one here which is a little bit lighter. Um, so we're gonna add some additional colors to it, make it really pretty while preserving some of the cells that have developed there. And Admi is going to work on this piece and add some color to that. Yeah, maybe that piece. Okay. So this is my color palette for today. 
And the colors that I'm using are gold, uh, iridescent gold, titanium white. I am using some Payne's gray. I'm also using a couple pearl colors. So I'm using a pearl arctic blue and a pearl pastel green. These are by Arteza. Uh, this is my first time using them. I just got them not too long ago and I'm trying them out. And I'm gonna use cerulean blue and portrait pink. And Admi is going to use fluorescent colors for her palette. So do you wanna introduce yours? Yes. Um, so first of all, thank you so much, Maria, for inviting me here. So I chose this palette because I am going to you know, I was going to go with our plan. So I made the plan to kind of just go around these colors that I, I want to like kind of bring more colors to it, but I don't want to touch the purple at all. Okay. So this is kind of what's the dominant color. So this is what I'm using. Yeah, so she is using fluorescent pink, yellow, fluorescent neon orange, and fluorescent green. So those are the colors. And... If the links are not down below to them, we'll add them after the live. So you guys will have them. You'll be able to access these colors below if you wanna use these colors for your future pieces or if you're correcting yours while we're doing this. So let's get started. All right, let me lower the screen so you guys can all see what we're doing. And let me lower this one. So. This is visible. Are we gonna do music today or not? Yeah, we are. Ah, uh, so this is so exciting. Let me see. Here. Let me when do one at a time here. Yeah. I'm gonna do mine on my Instagram. What do you do that? Okay, oh, yeah. Okay. Will we be able to see both? Yeah, yeah. Maybe this is like this is interesting. I've never done this before. Yep, let's see. I've done collaborations, not quite like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I've never done this before. So so, so do you wet the actually the, um let me pause for just a second here. Let me um show you guys the brushes that I'm using are numbers I thought this was six. So it's five, half a like half of one actually. It says 5.0, but it's it's a half of one and then one and two. I'm not using too thick of brushes today. Some that I might use is a straighter, br flatter brush that's half an inch. And I'm contemplating if I wanna use an angle brush. And Admi might be using a fan brush and also the three smaller brushes that I just mentioned. And she wants to use some others. This is her first time, like, actually live painting. She may decide to use some others. But so with that said, you, let's dive right in. Do you wet the, the, the brush first or not? Do, you do the paint first? So I usually um, wet the brush and then I put it into the paint. Um, you don't want your paint to be obviously like too watery mm -hmm. and you can always use your paper towel to dampen the brush so it's not too wet. Okay. Right? So let's see. Hey Alex, how are you? Hola Milena, ¿cómo están? Hola Dominis, I'm Zero on Two. Well, I'm, I'm sure we danced. <laughs> so I'm here with Masha, let's see. Thank you. 
good to step away from your artwork, guys. You can kind of step back and forth to see what you see and kind of take another view on your art. Because you never know what else you're going to see, right? And I'm loving how some of these cells turned out. So I'm just enhancing them with a little bit of this gold color and creating the wings for my bird in here. So I'm almost like highlight the beauty in these. Look at how gorgeous they are. Just look so, so pretty. So amazing. And in my piece, like I had an under color here, over here, and some of these, um, some of these colors show through the white, and I actually like them. I think they really enhance my piece. So I'm taking advantage of them for the wings of this butterfly. You know, sometimes your mistakes turn out to be really cool pieces. And I really wanted to make these part of my little man series, so I'm going to see how I may be able to enhance them that way. Little man brought so much color into my life. <laughs>
definitely loving this. Check this out, guys. that haven't fully dried yet just be careful as you're adding colors to them because you don't want to move that paint around too fast and you want to preserve some of those colors especially in the areas where they might be still drying but it's also a great opportunity to kind of insert a little bit of texture if you are looking to add a little bit more. And I'm really just using the gold here because I think it adds such a rich complementary color to these pastels. I think it's just absolutely gorgeous. And it, it really complements these pastels that I already have in here with just a slight pop of color. It enriches them, it makes them pop a little bit more and kind of really stand out here.
so pretty I'm absolutely loving these colors guys I'm just like enamored with how pretty these pastels are pastels are usually not my typical color palette I love the vibrant drastic colors and this just turned out so pretty yeah and I think the gold is just killing it killing it yeah like killing it in a good way you know like in a dancing way like when we said like we were dancing like oh yeah you kill him on the dance floor so that's what I mean when I said mm -hmm. that Or uh, I remember you say like, "Oh, that's nasty." That means like it's amazing. It's just no, no, no word to describe. Not sure if I love the gold on top here, so I'm gonna erase that, guys. It's probably not what I want, but I'm pretty happy with this. I love the way this turned out. I might add a little bit more of this gold accents around here, just a tad bit more. I'm really trying to figure out what I want to do with this portion here. I kind of want to add a little more without taking away from the bird. And hmm, almost like a flower type of area. fluorescent blue to add some to to this dynamic here transition here. So nice, guys. Look at this. Oh my gosh. Did we do pictures before and after? No, I don't think so. It's okay, we can post it on the video. Look at what? I said, we'll see you until we wind the video. Mm -hmm. Hola, Ale, ¿cómo estás? So I'm kind of a fan of these pearlesque colors, guys. 
especially this blue. You know, I'm a fan of blue. Oh, well, yes, you are. Totally a fan of blue. Hmm. How are your colors turning up? Amazing. Yeah? Yeah, I like it. You need it, giving it that light that I kind of needed to see. Awesome. these so guys if you're if you're not happy with what you kind of added just gently wipe it off just be careful make sure your acrylics are fully dry right you can always try to erase some of these pieces you just have to be very very gentle Oh, actually, I like the little bit of a muddier color here over the colors that we created here with lines. So that's another solution. Sometimes, you know, mistakes happen. There's always correction for things that you do on your canvas, always. Always find ways to improve it, to correct it. You can blot and create different patterns. You can add some water and add a smoother transition. So you create certain lines or things that you weren't happy with, just add a little bit of other colors and you'll be much happier with the end result. We do these every Friday at 3 p.m. And every Friday we have completely different pieces. So if you guys join us at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're going to be painting live with you. I will be sending out kind of what materials I'm using ahead of time going forward. So subscribe to our channel. Remember to follow us for updates and just stay tuned. We could create some awesome pieces together. We also have a class coming up on creativity in January and we'll sell tickets for that in December. So if you guys are interested, just remember this will be available. And if you don't see a link for it, feel free to reach out to me anytime. 
by email. You guys can also schedule some commission. So if, you, if you're interested in commission work for the holidays, just reach out to me by email here and I'll be happy to help. Yeah, and I think the creative, being creative, it's like when I'm doing this, I am thinking in so many things, like because of the music or anything, but I'm just like relaxing and just letting it go. And I think that is exactly uh, the, what we need to be able to, to do, is just to be able to relax and to do something you always want to do. Like, I'm not... I never got into it because I thought it was so difficult. I didn't know what colors to get, but I always, you know, I like it. But now that I'm actually doing it, I'm like, thank you, Maria. It's just really amazing the feeling that you get of creating something without being scared to be judged. Yeah, you so know? creativity comes to us in different forms, but we really need to embrace it and we need to kind of allow ourselves to try try things, to think differently, to really explore beyond what we know, because that's where the true creativity lies. That's where the true nuggets of innovation are found. And if you guys don't dive into that space where you are truly creating, you are leaving so many possibilities and opportunities on the table. And many of my partnerships and collaborations and just different projects stemmed from me listening to music, sitting here creating, sometimes art, sometimes writing, and really just developing some interesting ideas your brain starts thinking on a different wavelength when you listen to music, when you listen to different types of music that stimulate your brain positively. And you start to visualize things and analyze things in a completely different way. And so it's super important to dive into those impulses and not just kind of like sit there and enjoy the music for the sake of enjoying music, but really enjoy the music for the rich ideas that it brings, for innovative creations that may spur from it and kind of allow yourself to, to feel vulnerable in a way to the possibility of some of those innovations. to accomplish and how the butterfly just comes through on it. I hope you guys can see. Let's see if I can show you guys here. Let me pick up the camera just a little bit here so you guys can see. So and I'll take a picture so you guys can see the final piece. I'm trying to see where it's not reflecting too much bright light here, but I absolutely love how some of these crackled portions are coming around and you know the the beautiful development of these wings and gold is just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit more of the crackled effect on top. because I really like how that has developed and we'll move on to the other piece. Nice. 
Oops. My brush just went flying. Your brush is alive. I know. Must have been impacted by Halloween. <laughs> Must have been. Brought in some of those Halloween vibes, eh? Right? At the end of the day, it's all impossible. Absolutely. See, I am painting and I'm enjoying it. I'm already thinking, you know what? I'm going to make originals for a house. With the books, you know? We'll take your class. I'll get the ingredients, <laughs> the ingredients, the materials. You know, who's that? Uh, hola, Fabi, ¿cómo estás? Hola, Vladi, hola, Ale. So, Fabi's in Spain. Okay. Yeah. So, Fabi is the girl's dad, the sponge's sister. Okay. Hola, ¿cómo estás? And Vladi is my good friend from uh, Totora. Nice. Hola, Vladi, ¿cómo estás? Hola, hola, Gali. Bueno, you can think of Fabi, pero sé que es Gali. Yeah, so it's the girl's hand. So yeah, I'm going to cool. make originals with the girls. I love it. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day... I can afford your art, Maria. <laughs> you guys have to see this, okay? This is the piece that one day I will afford. <laughs> and it will be in my house. Oh, this is, was this the first Little Man? Yeah, this was the first piece from the Little Man series. Yes. So, so you guys can actually purchase this piece, but if you cannot afford the original yet, I'm going to buy this piece anyway. <laughs> you can order puzzles, cushions, blankets. Like, it's such a beautiful opportunity now. Maria, tell us about how can we make this a holiday gift? Like, cause I, this piece is from that motion, actually. Yeah, so here, guys, I will leave a link here. Um, you guys can go to lnk.bio slash forward slash Masha Schwartz art. And you guys can order a wide range of different holiday gifts there. You can also get a lot of puzzles and just creative pieces for yourself, home cushions or different um, pieces of art, like posters. I have um, phone cases available. I have a wide range of things available. Just take a look and you guys will be able to get a lot of my art if you can't afford the originals on various types of merchandise that's on there and it'll look amazing in your house i i was surprised at how great some of my art <laughs> looked on pillows i'm actually tempted to order some of the pillows for my own house believe it or not so i i promise you if you go you will love it yes and Mash is going to do a series of the story of the little man. Yes. So I'm going to have it on NFTs. You guys will be able to enjoy it in many different ways. Yes. I'm just happy I found a way to cover the blacks. I know you're not a fan of the black. I'm like a fan of the black. I am, but you know, because this is my piece, my very first one ever. I feel like sometimes I think you leave in the dark. So, so I want to point something out, guys, and this is an important piece to consider, right? When you're doing your art, when you are creating these pores, sometimes they get too busy. You always want to leave a nice, empty, kind of like spacious place for your signature. and. Don't make your signature tiny. Don't put it all the way to the edge of your canvas because you'll cover it with a frame if you are framing your canvas. So just always keep that in mind. You want to make sure that there is a nice space for your signature and that it's prominent so people know who this is, people know whose art this is, and 
you just never know where it's going to be. You, know, you never know what's going to happen to it. You always want to make that a priority. I've made that mistake with my earlier art, and um, now in hindsight, um, I've been trying to be very cautious about it. So I'm I'm seriously in love with this. I I can't wait to put it up and make it available for you guys to purchase. And I'll make the links to my prints for this available below once I post it up. So let me see. I think it turned out oh, great. Oh, it turned out so awesome. And it was just such a pale piece, you know. It it screamed like it needed something more. But I think sometimes art does that. You enhance it through Suri Abstract Creativity by adding that final touch as you listen to music and your brain starts to think really creatively and it starts to kind of really get in the zone of genius as you are creating your art and you start to create really beautiful art like this. And to, if you guys like this, if you like my channel, first of all, thank you so much for following and for sticking with us all for all these lives. Second of all, um, if you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe below and follow for more creative pieces. I always try to bring innovative lives. I try to make this fun for everyone. I try to bring new techniques, new approaches, new ways of looking at art. And, you know, you never know who you are going to impact tomorrow. You never know where this is going to take you, yourself. Our creativity is boundless and we need to just really engage with it. We need to make sure that we're present, that we are helping someone and ourselves first and foremost. And so when I look at my pieces, sometimes I turn on music and start to conceptualize them to see what else I can do. Sometimes I will just allow my pieces to be processed internally and then turn on music. There's a lot of different approaches to this, but the biggest thing is to get started. The biggest thing is just to kind of put yourself out there, not worry that you're going to make a mistake, not worry that something bad is going to happen, right? And just like kind of go for it because you may just amaze yourself with what comes out as the end result. Admi painted this way, in, like we're doing dips for this initially, and she was just like amazed at the art that turned out. And today we woke up and it was completely different, and it was a new way of kind of looking at art and a new way of conceptualizing art. So I'm going to point this out to some of you guys who may be beginners. All right, I, I didn't realize that this, this happens often. But if you guys are new to painting, if you are a new artist, if you are a new painter, always make sure that you don't leave your brushes in the water. All right, so you want to clean off your brush. You want to clean it on the paper towel. And more times than not, I recommend having something to put your brush into where it either hangs or sits. So it allows your brush to collect the bristles. You can dip it into water one more time once you clean it. So all the bristles are together and let it dry this way. This is the best way to preserve your brushes, right? But you never, never want to leave your brushes in the water. You never want to leave your brushes half in paint because the paint is going to dry and it's going to make your brush super harsh for the next time that you paint. But you really kind of want to make sure all the bristles of your brush are collected together and preserved. This will save you so much money. Brushes are not cheap. So this will save you a lot of money on brushes. It will save you a lot of just headache trying to clean the brushes later. You know, do yourself a favor, just clean the brush, don't leave them in the water, and reuse it when you need to. All right, yeah. let's dive into this last piece. This one is gonna be our uh, jellyfish. And I know, Edmund's looking at it like, how's this gonna be a jellyfish, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but, well, I want to let you enjoy life in my life. So I am gonna use 
pearl, I guess, a pearl -esque blue for this, yeah. and the pearl green to create these wonderful tops for this piece. Can I show you something before I go? Yeah. Look, in this paint, this piece, this mm -hmm. is an archer, Sagittarius. Oh. You see him? Kind of. Like, this is the arch. This is the, it's not perfectly, but this is the pool in the arch. And now oh, here's yeah. like a beast coming down. You know how Sagittarius is half mm -hmm. animal and half human? Right. And I am Sagittarius. Oh, and yeah. my bird is coming up, and this is my, I named this piece my November full. Nice. You know? Very nice. So, yay! Urgh, it has all the glitter and everything. So, you guys follow Maria. Make sure you do and get this holiday presents. Ciao, nos vemos. Bendiciones. Ciao, Ale. Let's see who else is here. Kali, Vladi. Hi, Muna. Que rico verte. Moon is from Brazil. Hello to all my international mm -hmm. friends. Nice. Mm -hmm. Thank I you guys love for joining. You guys. Thank you. That was so awesome. <gasps> my friends. Nice. <laughs> yeah, man. That's so cool. Yeah, I think this is going to look gorgeous. Look at this. Um, let me see if you guys can see so everybody's able to see what's happening here, right? Um, we added some colors over here. And I'm making these. What do you miss you for, Maria? Mm -hmm. Have fun. What do you miss you for? Have fun. <laughs> okay. Wow, music. Yeah, I think this this is gonna be gorgeous. Look at this. Well, I think you have to enjoy the moment. To me, I'm learning <laughs> for sure. Thank you, Maria. You are welcome. I'm gonna put this where I picked it up from. Remember, guys, to keep this right. organized. So. Okay, guys. Yeah, just. I am just loving this. It's turning out gorgeous. Now I think I still want the light, the light blue here to really capture that side. And I want the light blue here.
loving this. I am loving this, guys. those tentacles to fly out. Definitely in love with this as well. This turned out so nice. All right, guys. Check this out. I think this is pretty gorgeous. Oh, I'll be leaving the link for this as well below. You guys are interested? You'll be able to get it. But I think it turned out so nice. Thank you guys so much for joining me today. I really appreciate you. I really appreciate all of you. If you're new to my channel, please remember to subscribe below. I really appreciate you sticking around for the last hour. If you stayed this long, please remember that there is a free art print that you can download from the links in the description below. And I hope everyone has an amazing holiday that's coming up. I'll see you guys on Friday. Enjoy the rest of the weekend.